good morning students this is your computer teacher today we we are going to start a new topic of the chapter 1 python revision 2 that is statement flow control see while we are executing a program our statements may be executed sequentially selectively or iteratively fine so means to say whenever we are executing a program our group of statements are being executed in a particular manner based on the condition whether it is true or false or based on the loop condition that you have given so we'll be discussing these things in detail one by one here are some few important terms that you must know before we start this topic so what is a condition a condition is a statement set which is executed on the basis of result of a condition see if i if i say if you have scored greater than 90% so my condition is if you have scored greater than 90% so whatever be the result of this condition based upon that the action will be taken okay so the statements which are giving you a set of conditions after that what group of statements will be executed will be dependent upon the result whatever has been obtained fine what is a loop see sometimes we need to do a particular type of task a number of time so for doing this a particular set of statement for executing particular set of statements repeatedly until the end of the condition is satisfied is known as loop now our first term here we should use is compound statement in this statement actually we need to use few more terms first it uh, i think i must go with an example so that you may understand these points better see in this statement uh, in this program actually what he is trying to do uh, firstly he has taken a variable num1 and what he is trying to do here he is asking the user to enter a number fine you know the method uh, you you know how to enter a number for that we need to write int input function will help you to enter a number fine similarly we are taking another number and uh, input function is helping us to enter that particular number in integer form that is why int has been written here if we don't write int here then the input function will accept the answer or the value that you will be supplying in terms of string but we don't want the input function to take your input in the form of string so we are converting it with the help of int int that will give you an integer value that will be stored further in this particular variable fine see what is a compound statement and another term is contained statement so two important terms you need to focus here is compound statement or contained statement compound statement means which is a collection of multiple statements fine and contained statement whatever are contained inside that contained means in the name itself such a statement is contained inside something fine and see here in this example if num2 is less than num1 so if this condition is satisfied then what should happen so this this type of statement which will contain few statements inside it will be known as compound statement and after a compound statement we must use this colon symbol wherever you will be putting this colon it will indicate colon at the end of the header line means it is a compound statement fine so if this condition goes true num2 if i have taken uh, num2 as 3 and num1 as 4 so condition goes true 3 is less than 4 yes it is right so whatever further statements are to be executed is to be written inside this particular 
compound statement and how do we identify the contained statement these are the contained statement how you will identify it will be towards the right of this compound statement how they are uh, being written here see by default whenever you are pressing this colon ulti ultimately by default they will come with few indentation three or four spaces this is done by the uh, python interpreter automatically you are not supposed to do this you just need to write this colon when you will write this colon it will give three uh, four to five spaces uh, from the left side so to make it visible that these are contained statement of this compound statement so this is your compound statement and these are your contained statement when whenever you want to come out of it what you need to do enter will uh, drop you here see after writing this you will put enter it will drop you here but you want to come out of this if statement then again you need to press backspace you will come here so this will not be this will not be a part of if now fine so so this is your compound statement and these are your contained statements so here if the condition to goes true what will happen num2 will be multiplied with num2 means it will calculate the square of num2 means 3 ka square here be, it will be calculated this is 9 then what it will that will be stored in t and t is equal to t plus 10 what it will do it will make it 19 10 plus 9 is 19 so finally it is printing num2 is now 19 fine uh, sorry num2 will be num2 is 3 only here it, it should be 3 by mistake it has been written here that this will be 3 num1 will be 4 and t will be 19 fine i hope you have understood it thank you